Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss how big is the weekend's fortune. Let's get right into it. The Weeknd is a musical artist and record producer from Canada. The Weeknd has a $300 million net worth. After breaking into the music industry via YouTube, The Weeknd is now one of the most well-known figures in the hip-hop, rap, R&B genre, and his distinct musical style distinguishes him. He has sold over 70 million records in the United States alone, and he has received several prizes, including multiple Grammy nominations. Outside of music, The Weeknd has dabbled in a variety of business ventures. The Weeknd is now one of the highest paid musicians in the world, thanks to collaborations with multiple corporations and the launch of his own personal brand, XO. When The Weeknd goes on tour, he may potentially earn $90 million before taxes in a single year. Tess Faye's stage name derives from the fact that he left high school and his family's home one weekend and never came home, according to him. Three years later, he met Jeremy Rose, a producer. Rose had been toying with the notion of creating dark R&B for a while and regarded Tess Faye as the ideal person to lead the charge. Tess Faye rapped on a lot of tracks that Rose created. Rose offered Tess Faye permission to use the tracks on the condition that he be acknowledged as a producer. At the time, the musician went under the pseudonym Kin Kane and The Noise. Tess Faye subsequently posted the songs on YouTube where he immediately developed a large following, even attracting Drake's notice. After touring across the United States and Europe in 2012, The Weeknd formed a joint venture with Republic Records, which included the launch of his own imprint, XO. The Weeknd's own record label, XO, operates as a Republic Records subsidiary. Trilogy, a compilation of The Weeknd's first three mixtapes, was released during their relationship. Finally, Jeremy Rose was given credit for the songs he produced. The album was a success, reaching number 4 in the United States. Kissland, his debut studio album, was released a year later. The album debuted at number 2 in the United States and included Drake on numerous tracks. The Weeknd spent the following several years traveling and collaborating with musicians such as Justin Timberlake and Ariana Grande. He made a whopping $90 million between June 2017 and June 2018. The Weeknd made nearly $40 million from his many efforts between June 2018 and June 2019. Condom firms, e-cigarette manufacturers, and Marvel have all cooperated with The Weeknd. He has also served as a brand spokesperson for Puma and is one of Apple Music's faces. The Weeknd is also very interested in fashion and has his own line of EXO goods that he sells. He's also worked with companies like A Bathing Ape and designers like Alexander Wang. The Weeknd is a shareholder in Overactive Media Group, an esports firm. Supercars and vintage rides are two of The Weeknd's favorite things. His automotive collection, which contains only a few high-end vehicles, is believed to be worth more than $3 million. Because one of his favorite automobiles was significantly featured in the Starboy music video, he didn't just acquire a luxury car for the purpose. He does in fact own a McLaren P1, a hybrid supercar capable of accelerating from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.8 seconds. His model, on the other hand, will most likely cost you at least $2 million. The Weeknd may also hire a classic Porsche 911 G-Series. It is now a coveted collector's item, with prices reaching upwards of $250,000. A Lamborghini Aventador SVJ, which begins at $517,500, is one of his favorite cars. The Weeknd's high-performance Lamborghini is without a doubt his most striking vehicle. His limo-like Bentley Mulsanne, an outstanding luxury automobile that costs roughly $340,000, is another option. A Mercedes-Benz AMG G63 completes his collection. With Napa leather upholstery and 64-color LED ambient lighting, the interiors of those automobiles are magnificent. It was obvious that he had spent more than $200,000 on it. All of those pricey automobiles need to be returned to a reliable garage. So, he went all out when he spent $18.2 million for his property at 24220 Long Valley Road, Hidden Hills, California 91302 in 2017. It's the musician's first and only substantial home. The home is set on three acres of land on a very private drive in one of LA's most elite neighborhoods. It features the ideal garage for him to keep and display his high-performance vehicles. It boasts a glass floor and a crystal-paneled entryway with color-changing LED lights. He has chosen a few organizations to which he has contributed his funds in order to make a difference in terms of giving back. He contributed $1.5 million to a variety of different charities in June 2020. A third of the cash went to Music Cares, a nonprofit that assists musicians affected by venue closures. Another third went to frontline workers in his hometown of Scarborough, Ontario, while the remaining $500,000 went to a variety of charities. Black Lives Matter's countrywide bailout and Colin Kaepernick's legal defense campaign are two examples. 
He will also contribute $300,000 to a worldwide charity in Lebanon and $350,000 to the Equal Justice Initiative in 2020. But being nice is nothing new for The weekend, who has been secretly donating huge sums of money since his career began to take off. In 2016, he donated $50,000 to the University of Toronto to start a new Ethiopic Studies course, as well as $250,000 to Black Lives Matter. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.